All right, the Constitution presents opening statement. Your Honor, may I begin? You may. Your Honor, today you will learn that while the defendant Cameron Aubrey may have harbored dreams of one day opening a thriving Tantaran restaurant, her hiring of Lynn Stark, a vulnerable Tantaran immigrant, as the restaurant's only chef, foreshadowed her true intentions. For from the day of Taste of Tantaro, and it became clear, Cameron Aubrey wasn't an aspiring restaurateur. In fact, today, the evidence will show the defendant was nothing more than a sweatshop entrepreneur. The people charged the defendant with false imprisonment, a misdemeanor, and human trafficking, a felony. Your Honor, the people ask you to look for three key facts when evaluating the charges. One, the defendant restricted Lynn Stark's freedom to the possession of her immigration documents. Two, the defendant maintained Lynn Stark's services through perpetual threats. And finally, three, the defendant stole Ms. Stark's key and knowingly trapped her in a room on the evening of March 9th. Your Honor, these three key facts will be made clear through the testimony of four witnesses. Officer Hayden West, a regular at Taste of Tantara, will testify to observing multiple instances of the defendant's abusive conduct towards Lynn Stark. Officer West will also testify to alarming comments made by the defendant. I don't know who you think you are, but you need to understand something. Everything under that roof is mine. Julian Blake, a professional restaurant consultant hired by the defendant, will testify to odd comments about foreign workers, the unfair working conditions that taste of Tantara, including the overwork and underpayable in Stark, and threats of deportation. Lynn Stark, the true victim of these events, will testify to the unfair working conditions that taste of Tantara, refusal to her immigration documents, and malignant imprisonment inside of her room on the evening of March 9th. Dana Gradle, a veteran human trafficking expert, will testify that Lynn Stark does in fact fit the profile of a human trafficking victim. Your Honor, after hearing all of the evidence, the people ask you to see through the facade that is Cameron Aubrey and recognize that the, de the defendant is more sweatshop entrepreneur than she is an aspiring restaurateur. Thus, the people are confident that you will find the defendant guilty of both charges. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Does the past wish to present her opening statement at this time? <coughs> yes, Your Honor. All right. May I proceed? You may. Your Honor, the people have just painted Cameron Aubrey as a sweatshop entrepreneur. But there is more to this story because this is not a story about Cameron Aubrey. This is a story about Lynn Stark's American dream. Your Honor, the evidence will show that Ms. Stark was a citizen of a destitute country who came to the United States seeking opportunity. And that opportunity came in the form of Cameron Aubrey. When Ms. Stark was unemployed and needed help, Ms. Aubrey was there for her. Ms. Aubrey gave Ms. Stark a job, an apartment, all the food that Ms. Stark could have ever asked for. Ms. Stark was not paid a lofty salary, but was still enough for her to help support her struggling family back in Tantara. After all, this was Ms. Stark's American dream, to earn enough money to support her family and hopefully one day bring them to the United States. Sadly, Your Honor, the evidence will also show that Ms. Aubrey was unable to make Ms. Stark's dream a reality as soon as Ms. Stark would have liked. You'll hear testimony that Ms. Aubrey gave Ms. Stark the opportunity she desired to work hard as a chef in Taste of Tantara. You will hear from witnesses close to both Ms. Aubrey and Ms. Stark that Ms. Aubrey tried to help Ms. Stark focus to ensure her spirits were high with words of encouragement. And finally, you will hear from an expert that Ms. Aubrey worked as hard as anyone to try to help Taste of Tantara and Ms. Stark succeed. Unfortunately, Your Honor, the evidence will show that Ms. Aubrey's efforts failed. Ms. Stark could not succeed. You will hear that Ms. Stark grew increasingly frustrated with her own inability 
to handle the pressure of working as the chef of a growing restaurant, which quickly turned into anxiety and depression. The evidence will show that that anxiety and depression, coupled with Ms. Stark's unfamiliarity with American culture, caused her to misinterpret Ms. Aubrey's pep talks, her help, and most importantly, Ms. Aubrey's intent. Consequently, when Ms. Aubrey was being encouraging, Ms. Stark saw demanding. When Ms. Aubrey called for teamwork, Ms. Stark saw coercion. And when Ms. Aubrey urged Ms. Stark ever onward towards her American dream, Ms. Stark saw only enslavement. Your Honor, when all the admissible evidence is presented before you this evening, the court shall see that the people will not have met their burden of proving my client's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Therefore, the defense respectfully requests that at the end of today's trial, the court renders a verdict of not guilty on both the count of human trafficking and false imprisonment. Thank you.